should be live here. Just gonna wait and see who comes in tonight. Give this a little share as well. So we'll see um, what happens here. My stream light keeps on going bad here, so we'll see how it goes. Hello, Beatles Eternally. How are you doing? So we do have a viewer. Voice is too soft. Can you hear me now? Can you can you hear me now? Hello Amanda. How are you tonight? Can you all hear me? Crank it up a bit. Let's see if I can do that on the uh, microphone here. There, is that better? Is that better now? Can you hear me better now? I want to make sure that everybody can hear me. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, better. Okay, that's good. Um, I didn't mess. I didn't mess with any settings in the time uh, between now and my last stream or anything, so I don't know why that is happening all of a sudden. But, first of all, before I get into what we're going to be doing tonight, I would just like to take a moment and say uh, that I apologize for having not done anything for the past... Let's see, how long has it been? Several nights. I've had work, and uh, when I have work, I end up being very, very tired. So, yeah, that's why I haven't been doing anything. I'm getting back into a rhythm, though. I'm hopefully going to get back into some sort of rhythm to where I can do something, or at least have something uploaded for you all, even on nights when I work. I'm doing good. Thanks. Thanks, Amanda. 
so tonight so having that been said tonight and I'm glad I have Beatles in the chat for this I hope he will make sure that I am doing this all correctly is I'm going to go through and show a few things about app of baseball for windows and how to create a schedule and we are going to get a schedule going for a season so we're not really going to get into a game tonight but we are going to do a for schedule creation I'm going to show off a few things about app of baseball for windows because really this is a very solid sim engine and game and I just plain really really enjoy this game so with that being said let's get right to it the first thing I'd like to do is to go in and Beatles please do feel free to jump in and correct me if I mess up I will be checking the chat often for that the first thing we gotta do is we gotta load up the organization that we want to make a schedule for right now it's set on 2014 season professional baseball which we're not gonna make a schedule for we are going to go to this great teams 2 and drop down to great teams 2 on the organization and as you can see our teams and our leagues pop right up yes I know I have not edited these names and I'm not doing a game tonight so I will go back and I will edit the names after maybe tomorrow or something like that so what is that? Hmm. Yeah, the nicknames they are they are not there yet. It's getting there on that though. Um between work and daily life these past several days I have not gone in and done much editing, but I will do that in the time I have off. So we load this up, we click OK. Now that we have it loaded, and as you can see, the schedule window has changed. So So yeah, I'm just checking the chat, make sure I'm doing this okay. So everything has popped up. And so now before we uh, we create the schedule, we need to go to rules for league. And then we have a few things to set here. We have a choice when it comes to skill level, amateur, semi-pro, professional, and this just sets a timer for how many seconds you have to to make a choice whether you want a runner to keep going or for a throw to be made to a specific base or something like that. And I'm going to leave it at professional because I know what I'm doing here when it comes to those kind of things. Generally I can decide within two to three seconds. And because we are in, looking at the National League, designated hitter is going to be off. Um, And really, I believe that's the only thing that needs to be changed here. Is am I correct, Beatles?
Am I correct that I can just leave all this alone if I remember correctly from your teachings here? Allow bun for hit, okay, yeah. Allow bun for hit, so we will do that. And I believe that's it, so we will go to okay. And then we will scroll this down so that it is at the American League. And we will go rules for league. And the only difference this time is we will put in the designated hitter and allow bunt for hit. And we will click okay. So now that that's done, I just want to see... Hey, I am in schedule rules. This is where we will start to select everything we want for the schedule. And we can, sc we can start it on any day that we want. Let's see, what is today? Today is going to be April 5th, so we will start it on April 5th. And uh, it's going to be regular season. Games per team, 162. And then we have a choice whether we want interleague games, league play, wild card teams, bench pitching rotation, And box score is not saved. I'm not going to touch any of those. And then Beatles on injury and fatigue rules. What, what did you tell me about those? And I'll skip that until uh, I hear from you here. Pitcher durability and recovery. You have a choice of late 20th century, mid 20th century, early 20th century, and 19th century. And I think for some of the, and I think we'll go mid 20th century for that. Game injuries and fatigue on that one, on that other one, okay. So that's set. Enforce batter's face limit, I'm not going to, limits, I'm not going to do that. And we're not going to pause the program for anything, so we're going to click OK. Hello, Al Red Sox fan. How are you doing tonight? So now that we have that all set, I believe we are ready to make our schedule. So we go to schedule and we go all the way down to generate new schedule. We're going to have it be a professional style schedule. And then we have a choice of no double headers. All, having an all-star break, total games per team, 162, day games only, day and night games. We're going to have day and night games. And then there's an option to select if we want interleague play. Now, here's the tricky bit. And I forget what to do here in this instance. Oh, we go to help because we have to assign league games versus teams in each league. 
And so, we go all the way down, generated schedule setting suggestions. And we have our options here. We have two leagues, eight teams per league, 154 games, two leagues, 10 teams per league, 162 games. Well, let's see here. So we go back and we look at our league manager. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's two leagues, eight teams per league. We wanted 154 games schedule. I don't think I don't think that's going to let me do it here because the only option is two leagues, eight teams per league, 154 games. So we have to go in. And change some change a couple things here. So cancel. And we're gonna go back to I think it was rules for a league. No, it was not rules for a league, it's aim and schedule rules. And we're going to have to make this 154. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Going back and send the 154 games. And we will click OK. And then now we can generate a new schedule. 154 games day and night games and then we look at this again two leagues eight teams per league 154 games league games versus teams in same league 22 so that is, that makes it easy for National League 22 and then for American League it will be 22 And it looks like uh, Beatles is uh, speaking something there that I don't quite understand. <laughs> but yeah, we got set to 22 games for the National League and 22 games for American League. 154 games scheduled per team. <sighs> Bless me. Um, so then we click OK and it should spit out a schedule. And here we go. Yep, a schedule has been sp sped out. And it is ready to be played. At this point. What you can do is also go in to lineups, set manager mode for all teams, to manual or auto and we're just going to leave it at manual for right now and click OK and that really is all there is to it I believe on schedule Houston we have a schedule yes we do for the all-time greats season So that is how you set that up, and really, it really is simple to do. I don't know why I got to day three. I don't want to be there. Um, so we will probably be going in and playing this quite a bit. 
whether or not it's going to be live streaming or video, depending upon whether or not I have work, I may just upload some for entertainment for you all as I am at work, when I am at work. But now that that's done, I kind of would like to go in and kind of show off the uh, other... The other another uh, module that this has so I'm going to minimize that for a second and we are going to go into Statmaster You should show how it connects to a game. Can you be more specific about that, Beatles? And I'll, and I'll be glad to show it, but right now that I'm in Statmaster, I kind of want to show this off. Um, Statmaster is basically where you go to view all your league stats. So you want to go to Open, and since we have a league already That I've already started a season on. Nineteen ninety two. I'll open that up and click OK. So that and then we want uh, standard reports. And here's where we can go in and we can have it display any of these reports that we want. We can do as much or as little as we want. So if, say we want to view the standings. We can do that. We can see a summary, a game summary. We can see leaders and player batting, pitching, relief pitching, fielding, and streaks. So we get reports when we hit display and they come right up and these and this is how you view all of the stats that there are for your season replays here's fielding leaders relief leaders pitching leaders batting leaders Game summaries. This is all the games that I have played so far to this date, uh, to the date in the season, and their final scores. The winning pitcher and losing pitcher decisions, as well as who got saved, if anybody did. And here's kind of a summary for leagues on, and their stats. And then here's where you have the standings, and this is where the standings are shown. I have not gotten into any National League games yet. I will hopefully get into that soon. We'll check on the chat here. How to play a game from League Manager. The stat package with this game is still viable. Yes, it is. Yeah, I do have a messy desktop. Sorry about that. Kind of embarrassing. But, uh... Okay, I can, I can kind of show... I, I think I can go in and show without actually playing a game. Correct, Beatles? So yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll go back in and we'll show what to do here. So what we will do is we will just close this out. Give you a lovely little look at OBS there. Bring back up League Manager. Bring back up OBS. And as you can see, we are at the uh, 
League Manager for the season which I just loaded, 1992. Let's see, let's open up the great teams. One just for ha-has. Yeah, Beatles has a way of making seasons. I like to I like to replay all the gray seasons, cousin. Only three seasons of cards and dice available. That sounds like fun. I wonder if you can do that with the uh, PC version. So, Beatles wants me to show how to get into a game from the League Manager. This is where you will go to play a game. Now, you notice here when I, hit, when I, when I choose Select, there are options down here for Play Automatic Game in Background or Play Automatic Game in Spectator. These are not available to me because I have set all of the managers to be manual managers, so that option is not available to me. There's also an option to play automatic game in the background one day, but again, that is not. But that again is not available to me. So the only one that is is play manual game. So you click on that. You get a lovely little look at OBS here for a second. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. And then APA Baseball for Windows comes up, pops up. It opens by itself. And as you can see, that the, the first day's games pop right up. You select one and you click OK. And then you go through all the lineup creation and all that, and you're ready to play. So that is how you do that. Now, Beatles, I believe I can get back out of this without actually playing the game, correct? Click cancel. And then, yeah, then I can just close this out again. Exit. Get another little look at OBS, and boom, we are back to the League Manager. So, yeah, that is how you go in and you play a season game in APA Baseball for Windows. Now, let's close League Manager here. And let's see, what do I want to bring up here now? Advanced Draft. Advanced Draft is where you go to manage everything. So, this is where you go to manage everything, and since Beatles kind of made a comment about uh, the team nicknames not being there, I will go ahead and do that, kind of, sort of. So we have the great teams too, we load that up, we click OK, and it comes up with the editor for this league.
Now, because there's a couple tricky names in here, I'm just going to do a couple of the ones I know. Let's we'll scroll down here to the American League. And you click on New, like New York, for example, and then you push control. You hold down control and you press R, and that opens up a box. Ah, I think I got Beatles wanting to do an Apple Apple stream. Okay, sounds good. So as you can see, it comes up with a way to rename the team. You can rename it to anything you want practically. Although, be advised, if you rename it to something that is not on the list of Ernie's names, he will not say it. He will not say it. So, I, I don't know exactly, maybe Beatles knows exactly how many names are on Ernie's list of said names, but yeah, so like New York, you know, you might want to leave that alone. And then you go down to this name box that's below it, and you type in Yankees. Now here's another here's another little thing about this game that's kind of quirky is that since there's two New York teams, one in each league, both of them have to be identified with different initials. So we will put New York A for this one and click OK and as you can see it has been renamed to the New York Yankees. And then let's do another. Let's go down to Detroit. Do Control R again and we will type in Tigers click OK and it's set to Detroit Tigers. Now the tricky thing here is that under the status for both these two teams it says changed. In order to make sure that this gets saved you have to go up to select and scroll down to save data disk. You click on that and the change status goes away and these name changes are saved. So you gotta make sure to do that Otherwise, you will have to go in and do it all over again. Ernie says all of the major league nicknames plus most of the minors and many independent leagues as well as fictitious. Oh wow, that is good to know, Beatles. Because someday, someday... If I can figure out how, I would love to create a kind of a fictional teams with real players draft league. That would be so, so much fun. So much fun to do. But yeah, that is how you do that. And you can edit the, the league names as well if you want to. But for now, we are going to close that out. And here is just where, now here's a fun thing, you want to see a team's roster, you open up, you, uh, you select the uh, organization and data disk you want to see from, and then you scroll down, so let's go to Brooklyn, let's go to Brooklyn and you click OK, and up comes that team's roster along with all of the players that's on the team and their master game ratings which of course is like bing tittle tittle bong to me right now because I don't really know much about master game. So that is how you can view what players are on what team.
So that is how you view, view that. And you can also do the same for team lineups. So let's say we want to scroll down and we do Brooklyn again. Click OK. And up pops the team lineups. Yeah, Master Game Ratings. Okay, good night, Amanda. Hope you hope you have a good sleep. And I believe you can create a lineup here if I'm correct, Beatles. You might wanna you want you might wanna remind me on that. I'm not quite sure. It looks like you can edit, that's why it says Team Lineup Edit, so, but we'll close that out. And why did it do that? I want it to be fully, there we go. And really that is what you can do. And then there's a Create Data Disk option there. Which, uh... I have not touched yet. It looks like it's tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So I usually set lineups in the game myself in the game itself. Yeah, me too. Okay, oh this okay, oh this changes things. I have have one hundreds of non master games teams I like to convert, says Ken Castro. Yeah, this app of baseball for Windows is based off of the master game, even though you don't see the dice rolls and everything like that. It still does it in the background, and it's based off the master game rules for APA. So, so really, that's all there is to show in the advanced draft. Let's give you another fine look at OBS and go back to the League Manager real quick. And is there anything else I should really point out? Or anybody else that uh, wants to uh, see anything particular or something I forgot to mention? Thanks, Beatles. Is there anything else I, sh I should really show off that people that may be wanting to get into this particular game might want to see that I may have forgotten? Creating teams from a draft would be nice, but that takes a lot of time. Yeah, and that is something that, unfortunately, I don't know how to do, and I'm going to have to have you teach me about Beatles, because, yeah, I don't I don't have the knowledge on that just yet. I've, I've only been playing with the stuff I've gotten, and I have not 
created any teams. Um, is there any questions that anybody has that they don't quite understand? Or if they are curious about something? Trying to look at something here. I just remembered something that I want to. Is there an auto draft? That's a great question, Ken. I, Beatles, can you field that one for me? Because I. I've not seen anything where there's an auto draft, but again, I could be wrong. There is one thing I did want to, I did forget to show off that's quite important. And that is assigning ballparks for the teams. So we go down to home fields, all teams. And this comes up with a box where you can assign ballparks, a home ballpark, to each of these teams. So St. Louis, you can choose Baseball Field, Chicago North, Cincinnati, Detroit, Detroit, Forbes Field, Minnesota, New York, Bronx, and there are as many more that you can download from a website that has a lot of downloads for APA Baseball for Windows stuff as well. I have still not gotten around to doing that. Again, work getting in the way. I need to do that, but this is how you do assign ballparks. There sort of is an auto draft. Really? Okay. Beatles, you will have to you will have to show me that too because that would be a great feature to learn about as well because I am again I'm not so savvy not as savvy about the draft the advanced draft modules I've only tinkered with that to edit team names and that's really it so you know maybe if you get you know if you get an urge to do tutorial on some more advanced stuff like that you could I'll, that would be appreciated but so for like St. Louis Let's just uh, let's just select Forbes Field, and you click Assign, and then you go down to the next one, and you choose your ballpark and click Assign, and you do that for every single team. So for now, we're just going to assign Forbes Field to everybody, and you can go back in and change this at any time. Then you click OK. And as you can see down below each team's name now on the schedule, it has what ballpark they have been assigned. I'm going to start charging. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I know I, I know I ask a lot, Beatles, you know, but. There, you know, if there is stuff that you know sounds interesting, I definitely want to learn about it so that I know how to do pretty much everything with this software. As it is, you know, it is absolutely excellent, and Ernie Harwell alone makes this game worth the twenty dollars to buy, even though it's on CD-ROM and not download. Which I really wish Appa would consider. A download version I don't think it would be that hard for them to do so is there anything else that I may have missed
Anything else at all? I don't think there is. And does anybody have any questions for me before we uh, call this one a stream? Looks like my viewers went from one to two there. Did we lose somebody there for a second? I was just asking if uh, anybody had any more questions or anything else they wanted to see. Polo Grounds is ready, says Beatles. Okay. Polo Grounds is ready. You know what that means is coming up. You're welcome, Ken. I hope everybody enjoyed this. And it was informative for everybody and those especially that watch this on demand later. Later on. Uh, that are interested in getting this game. I really, really highly recommend it. It really is a solid game from APA. For $20 you get, you get Ernie Harwell which does an audio broadcast of the game and really a wonderful wonderfully created broadcast feature and that is the that is really really where the main meat of this game is at it's not in its looks or it's eye candy like out of the park is or other baseball sims out of the park action pc some of those it, it does not have the eye candy, but it does have a great play-by-play -play audio play that really is realistic and really makes you feel like you're listening to an actual baseball game. So with that said, I really hope everybody enjoyed tonight's tutorial stream. I will be back doing games again tomorrow night. Um, no work for me for a few days, so I will be able to get something done for y'all and get y'all back entertained. Again, I apologize for being absent. So I'd like to thank Amanda, Beatles, and Ken Castro, and Al Red Sox fan for stopping on in, as well as anybody else that may have stopped by and didn't, just didn't say hi in the chat. And I hope you all enjoyed, and this is Robbie saying, see you next time. Have a great night.